Let's review the different parts of speech. First, you might be asking, what are the different parts of speech? All words are put into different categories. In this video, we are going to review four of those categories. Nouns, adjectives, verbs, and adverbs. Nouns are people, places, things, or ideas. They are the subject of the sentence or who or what the subject is about. As a reminder, proper nouns are always capitalized. They are the names of people and places and titles. For example, in this sentence, let's look at the nouns. The students all agreed that Mr. Cascolo was the coolest teacher ever and had the best jokes. What the sentence is about are the people, students, and Mr. Cascolo. The dog was watching Stranger Things on TV while they were home alone. Dog would be what the sentence is about, but also Stranger Things is a proper noun because it's the title of a show. The New York Mets won again after scoring nine runs in the last inning. The New York Mets is what the subject is about, so it's a noun. Because it is a proper noun, it is capitalized. Adjectives are words that describe nouns. They provide the reader with a more accurate description. Adjectives can mean many things. For example, an adjective can describe the color of something, how many something are, even where something is. Let's look at an example. The fire engine red car belonged to my wacky neighbor. Fire engine red describes a noun, which is car. So, fire engine red is an adjective. Wacky describes the neighbor. Neighbor is a noun, so wacky is an adjective. The dark and mysterious forest was filled with swampy insects that filled the sky. Dark and mysterious describe the forest, and swampy describes the insects. My folder on the left is mine. You can see my transformer sticker on it. Left describes where the folder is. Transformers describes the sticker, so those are the adjectives. The adorable golden retriever wore a red handkerchief around his neck. Adorable describes the golden retriever, and red describes the handkerchief. Verbs. A verb is a part of speech that describes an action or indicates the state or quality of something. For some action words, let's look at some sentences. I ran as fast as I could when I found out that my mom bought pizza. Ran is what I was doing, so that's the verb, and bought was what my mom was doing. Those are the action words. Last night, it rained so much that there are still huge puddles today. Rained is an action, so it's the verb of the sentence. You should complete your homework. Complete is also an action, so that's the verb. We also have state of being words that describe something as an action. Detective Pikachu is my favorite movie. Is is the verb that shows that Detective Fa Pikachu is my favorite movie. My brother has not done it. I could not make it to the party. Adverbs are words that more clearly describe a verb. For example, they put an emphasis on a verb. After I wasted too much time by slowly walking to the bathroom, I had to quickly finish my test. Slowly describes how I walked, quickly describes how I finished the test. Notice it's describing the verb, not the, the noun. Mr. Criscolo patiently waited for his students to submit their do now. Waited is the action, so patiently describes that. I carefully wrote an email to my brother explaining why I forgot about his birthday. Carefully describes the verb, which is wrote. So, in your parts of speech, it is important to remember that some words could fit into more than one category based on how they're used. For example, fall could be a noun. My favorite season of the year is the fall. I always enjoy the leaves changing colors in the Starbucks pumpkin spice lattes. Fall could also be a verb, though. If you do not pay attention to the floor is wet sign in the bathroom, you will fall down. When we come across a word we don't know, it is always a good idea to consider if it's a noun, verb, adjective, or adverb, based off how it's used. Ultimately, identifying if it's a noun, verb, adjective, or adverb will help you understand new words as you come upon them.